news, but want to share our first viewer photo of the day. Sarah Ponce, she cracked an egg properly, not saying any names, but if you watched yesterday morning, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but she put this out at 3.45 p.m. yesterday in about three hours. You can see right there on your screen, the egg eventually cooked all the way through. Now, a recap of yesterday, we hit 108 at the airport, just two degrees shy of where we are supposed to beat the record of 110. Now, temperatures for today, though, are expecting to hit 108, so we could possibly tie the record for today. Now, because of these hot temperatures, our heat, our heat advisory is still in place, as well as our excessive heat warning throughout the weekend. But temperatures right now, 82 degrees at the El Paso International Airport at 6 o'clock this morning. 77 out in Las Cruces. So we're off to a very warm start, folks. 82 in Alamogordo and 79 at Guadalupe Pass. So across town on the west side of El Paso, thanks to our weather net sites, we're already at 82 degrees at Putnam Elementary School and 80 degrees at War Air equals Air Museum. Now, because of our temperatures for today, just keep in mind that you could be prone to any heat-related illnesses. Now, these are the signs to look for when it comes to heat exhaustion, heat stroke. Of course, heat stroke is one of the major heat-related illnesses. And if you feel any of these symptoms, or there be a throbbing headache, no sweating, of course, your body temperature is rising, do call 911, seek help. Now, heat exhaustion, these are the symptoms you could be facing, faint or dizziness, excessive sweating. Of course, you need to drink plenty of water and get into a cooler environment when you are um, prone to these heat-related illnesses. But this is all preventable, folks. You can do this by staying hydrated throughout the day. Don't wait until you're thirsty. Dr avoid peak sun times from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Of course, check on your pets as well. So everything like this can be preventable because our temperatures for today ranging in the triple digits once again. 108 for Socorro, Clint, and Fabens. 107 for Fort Bliss. It's going to be another hot, brutal day. 105 for the Mesilla Valley. 107 for Hatch. 107 for White Sands. And this is all thanks to that ridge of high pressure that's been dominating the southwest and really hasn't moved much. But eventually, this is going to trek on east, and by Wednesday, we'll see some slight relief. So the next seven days, it's looking like this. We'll keep those triple digits in the forecast. 107 for your Monday, but by Tuesday, we'll increase our chance to see those isolated thunderstorms, and we'll drop to the lower 100s with those isolated storm chances throughout the rest of the week.